Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you how to take input from the user in the language Java. So let's say you are writing a program to find sum of two numbers. Okay, You want to find the sum of two numbers and you want these two numbers to be given from the user. So for that we are going to use a class called scanner. Okay, So scanner, we are going to create an object of this scanner. So I'll say scanner, S is the object s is equal to new keyword scanner system dot in so this is the syntax to create object of a scanner class to take input so now i'm going to use this object to get input from the user so let me first tell the user to give me some value so I'll say enter first value. So now I'll create an integer where I'll be storing the value which the user is giving. So I'll say int a equal to s, this is the scanner object, dot next int, i capital, next int, open and close. So now this line will get the input from the user and store it in a. So now we got the first value. Now let's do this for this second value. So I'm going to repeat this line again. Now let's take the input from the user. I'll store it in a variable called b s dot next int. Okay. Now this will get me the second value from the user and store it in b. So now what we can do is we can get now find the sum of these two value if needed and then of course we will print this so so this is how we are going to take input from the user first you have to use scanner class we have to create an object of this class using this object we are going to take input so a point to be noted here since i am taking input for an integer value a i am using next int there are many various other things called let's say next long to take if the variable is of type data type long i'm going to use next long if it is float i'll be using next float if it is a string i'll be using next line another thing to remember is this scanner class if you want to use it you will have to import from java dot util dot scanner only if you import this you will be able to use this class and create the object of this class and take input from the user so if you learn something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you